Once upon a time, in a land full of talking animals and enchanted castles, there lived a cheerful egg named Humpty Dumpty. Humpty wasn't like any ordinary egg. He wore a little bow tie, had rosy cheeks, and always carried a cane. More than anything, Humpty loved to sit up high where he could see the entire kingdom. His favorite spot was the great wall of the king's castle. Every day, he climbed up and sat on the edge, admiring the birds soaring through the sky and watching the people bustle about below. He loved feeling the cool breeze and the warmth of the sun on his smooth, white shell. Every day, he climbed up and sat on the edge, admiring the birds soaring through the sky and watching the people bustle about below. He loved feeling the cool breeze and the warmth of the sun on his smooth, white shell. Point one bright morning, as Humpty sat in his usual place, something extraordinary happened. A group of children ran up to the wall, playing and laughing. Humpty watched them with a smile, but as he leaned a bit too far to wave, he suddenly lost his balance. With a startled gasp, Humpty Dumpty wobbled and teetered at the edge of the wall. Before he could grab hold of anything, he tumbled down, head over heels, straight to the ground, with a loud crack. The people nearby gasped and rushed to help. Word spread quickly through the kingdom. Soon, all the king's horses and all the king's men arrived. They tried everything to fix Humpty. The knights worked with glue and bandages, while the horses, not being much help at all, offered moral support by standing around looking concerned. But no matter what they did, they couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. His once smooth and shiny shell was now a patchwork of cracks, and he felt terribly sad. He thought his days of sitting high up on the wall were over. Just when all hope seemed lost, along came a clever young girl named Lily. She wasn't one of the king's men, but she had an idea. Humpty, she said softly, you may not look the same on the outside, but that doesn't mean you've lost what makes you special. With a bit of determination and a lot of love, Lily helped Humpty Dumpty get back on his feet. She wrapped him in soft cloth and told him that even though he was cracked, he was still the same kind-hearted egg inside. From that day on, Humpty Dumpty learned that being different wasn't something to fear. He didn't sit on the wall as often, but he found joy in other things, like teaching the children how to stay safe and exploring new places in the kingdom. And though he had a few cracks here and there, Humpty Dumpty was never happier. He went into. Humpty Dumpty walks along the path, his cane tapping lightly against the dirt road. His patched up shell gleams in the sunlight, a sign of his journey and growth. Children run around him, playing and laughing, while Humpty smiles, enjoying the sights and sounds of his new adventure. There's excitement in the air, as every step feels like a new beginning.